If you attend industry trade shows and conferences, then this video is for you. As someone who's done the trade show circuit, I'm going to show you my best tips and tricks for tackling the trade show floor. Hi, welcome to the pantry. We are talking about trade shows today heading into a busy trade show season. In fact, I have one of my busiest trade shows coming up in October in Vegas. So for all my IMEX friends out there, we'll see you soon in Vegas. Uh, trade shows can be a very daunting place. There's lots to see and limited time to do things. So in this video, I'm going to share some of my best tips and tricks for tackling a trade show floor. Uh, so that you can maximize your time the next time you're at your industry conference. Tip number one, plan your route. Now your trade show probably has uh, a map that you can go to on the industry website or even through the mobile app on your telephone where you can take a look at the setup of the trade show floor. Uh, what I'd like you to do is plan your route through the trade show floor. And if you're attending a very large trade show, perhaps even pick a focus for this year and a different focus for next year or a subsequent trade show. That way you're not scrambling around the entire trade show floor to cover everything off in the two days that you have, but rather you're focusing in, that even helps your brain to focus in a little bit better on a certain topic or a certain theme and get the most out of your trade show experience. So tip number one, plan your route. Tip number two, take notes. I am amazed at how many people attend a trade show and they don't have a notepad with them. How on earth are you gonna remember all the information that's coming at you, especially if you see 10, 15, or even 20 vendors a day? Now there's different ways you can take notes. You don't have to do it with a traditional notebook. I actually do it on a clipboard, uh, which has a little cute little pen holder here if you're looking for one. Uh, some people do it on their phone or their iPad as well in a note-taking app like Evernote. Um, but take notes, get them back to your office, scan your notes into a PDF and save them. And then when you need that information, it's easy to find and, and you've actually taken some notes and made good use of your time. Tip number three, manage your business cards. So similar to taking notes, you're gonna have a lot of cards from the vendors being given to you. And now you need to find a place to put these cards or manage them in a way that you can remember their contact information. So there's a couple ways you can do it. Again, I use Evernote and I actually scan the business card right there on site and save it to my business card file in Evernote. You can even add notes to that person's business details about where you met that person, what trade show booth they were standing at. Uh, some people also like to use an app called Cam Card. I hear great things about that app, so that's maybe something that you're using. Um, but if an app isn't possible for you, even just collecting all the business cards, stapling them to your notes, or collecting them in one place with a prosaic rubber band and making sure that you can find that contact information for when you need to reference it next time. So manage your business cards, make sure you don't lose all that important contact information. Tip number four, sensible shoes. Now ladies, this is more for you than for our gentlemen counterparts, but wearing the right shoes on a trade show floor is critical, especially if you're gonna be there for four to eight hours walking around from vendor to vendor. Make sure you have good shoes on a modest heel, some blister band-aids packed in your purse just in case. Just take care of your feet. It's a long week on that trade show floor. Tip number five, a water bottle. Again, it's amazing how many trade shows I attend and there aren't adequate water stations around the trade show floor. And if you're running from appointment to appointment, chances are you don't have a lot of time to stop and refuel with water or even with a, a small snack like a granola bar. So grab yourself a, a recyclable water bottle, make sure you throw a couple granola bars in your briefcase as well, so that when you don't have time to stop and take those breaks, you at least have something on you. Tip number six, a good night's sleep. This is the hardest one. It's a busy conference uh, or a busy trade show and you have evening appointments as well and receptions to attend. 
But if you can, try and duck out of those receptions just a little bit early, get a good night's sleep. That's going to set you up for success the day of the trade show so that you're able to ask intelligent questions, you're able to retain the information better, you're able to navigate your route a little better. So please, please get yourself a good night's sleep and set yourself up for success. So these are my tips for a successful trade show. We'd love to hear from you if you've got a little trick, trick that you like to employ to uh, ensure success when you're doing the trade show floor. Please comment below and make sure to check out this post at productivitypantry.com. You can also subscribe for my newsletter there and I've got other tips and tricks that you can only find on the newsletter. Have a great conference season and we'll see you next time.